Studio Sessions is a cloud-based collaboration tool that allows project partners to mark up and edit the same documents at the same time, while maintaining a complete record of changes made. Sessions is included in all editions of review. To create a new session, log in and click the session icon. Click the Add button and select New Session. Name the session and add the files you'll be working with in the session. You can set your options, including basic permissions of the attendees. Restrict attendees by email is checked by default. If left unchecked, anyone with a session ID number could access the session. You can also set an expiration date if needed. Click OK and a nine digit ID is assigned to the session. It will then load in the studio panel. The session name and ID number can be found on top. When your session opens, you will be prompted to send out invites to other users. From there, you can add the email of users you want to invite directly, from a group of users from another session or project, or use the address book. Add the emails of your session partners here. You can also add a specific message if so desired. As the administrator, you'll find all the guests that have been invited to your session, including those who haven't joined yet, under the Attendees pane. Add more guests by clicking the Invitation icon. Adjust who can access the session by clicking the Attendee Access icon. From here, you can deny access to people already in the session or invite new members. For more in-depth permissions, click on the Session Title drop-down and click Settings. Under Permissions, Attendees is the default group that contains all added users, except for the creator of the project. You can add single users for individualized permissions, or add them to a group using the group settings, then adding the entire group to the permission list. Click the user or group to bring up the applied permissions. Click on each item to change the permission to Allow or Deny. In the Documents section are your uploaded files. You can add more files from the Upload icon or adjust how they are listed. Note, if you don't get permission to upload files to your guests, they will not see this icon. The records list is probably the most important section in the panel, as it documents every action done by each member in the session, in the order the action is taken. Click on a markup record to jump to that markup in the main workspace. When you place a markup, you can alert a member to the markup by right-clicking it and selecting Alert Attendee. Use the chat box to add comments to the records list. Click the filter icon to specify which records you want to see at a time. You can also see what an attendee is doing at the time they are doing it by following them. Right-click their name under the Attendees section and click Follow. At any point during a session, you can generate a session report and save it to your computer. This way, you will have a record you can append to a file or share with other team members. Click the Summary icon. From here, you can choose what type of report to build and other options. Click OK to generate the report. You also can create a summary report when you finish the session. If you want to close the session but need to come back to it later, click Leave Session. To complete the session, click Finish Session. This will allow you to close out, choose options for saving the files, and cannot be undone. Review will prompt you to save the files and markups 
as well as generate a report if you choose to do so. Click OK to finish the session.